Okay, what would you say to people who are afraid of dying? Wow, I would say you're not alone. I think a lot of people are afraid of dying. Okay. Um, and and it's and especially if you think that the end of life is just it, mm. right? Like like we have like the only life we have is on this earth, and when it ends, over. Like yeah, there's people who fear death because of that because then life really is just over um so if someone comes to you and says i'm constantly afraid of death what do you tell them okay um well i think there's so again there's the one person they think when death comes that's it there's the other there's the christian mm -hmm. who comes they're gripped with fears about death they're hoping there's going to be an afterlife they're mm -hmm. hoping there's going like that's what they read in their bible that's what they will actually even tell people, I'm going to heaven. Mm -hmm. But then in their heart, they're wrestling with the reality of that. Like they're 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 afraid of it. Um and and there are people who actually know I'm going to heaven. Like they actually know that and are still afraid of dying because they're afraid of leaving, mm -hmm. you know, what this is. You know, they're afraid of leaving what is behind um and what they've known. And so I guess for me, it's, it's first like figure out kind of where they are in this. Like, is they are like, why, like, where is that fear stemming from? Mm -hmm. You know, is it the fact of, I just don't think there's gonna be anything after this or I'm, 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 I say I'm a Christian. I actually believe I'm a Christian, but I'm really having a hard time with the fact that there really is heaven. Um, or is it, Hey, I, I really believe there's a heaven, but I just don't want to, I don't want to die, you know. Um, I'm I'm afraid of it. Well, I think the conversation is different with all three of those people, you know. And so, I. But I also, again, I get the fact that being afraid of death is a real thing, and I don't really know how to. If I'm being honest, I don't know how to push someone into the reality of knowing, like, to being settled in their hearts that it's okay to die. Okay. Um, I, I don't know how you lead someone there, to be honest with you, outside of saying, hey, let's talk about what Christ has promised. Let's talk about what Christ has said. We know Christ. We put our hope and our trust in Christ. Therefore, we're believing that what he says is true, that if he says that he's gone to prepare a place for us in John 14, he's gone to prepare a place for us. If he tells us in 1 Corinthians 15 that victory has been had over death, we trust that victory has been had over death, that in that same passage of 1 Corinthians 15, we are going to be raised up, mm. you know, with him. And so, like... As clumps of dirt. As, as clumps of dirt. Um, so I do believe that there... I do believe that there's the ability to, like, try to reaffirm the promises of Christ and the promises of his word into our hearts to help us overcome fear. Um. But for some people, it's just going to take them actually getting to a point of maybe where they're like, you know what, I was afraid of death, but now that I'm here, I'm looking at it, I'm staring at it, I'm okay, you know, or I'm ready. Um, mm. And I remember when when one of my grandfathers passed away, I remember him telling me on the phone, he was like, he just said, Joseph, I'm just, I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just ready. And I, I, to be honest with you, as a, you know, as a, as a, I'm in my early twenties and like, that's, that was a hard thing to wrap my head around. Like, why would you just be ready to go? Like, don't give up. you know, they were just ready. And I, same thing with my pancreatitis. Like I just got to a point where I was just ready and I haven't feared death since. Like when it happens, it's happened. But sometimes I think you have to kind of face it to be able to overcome certain fears mm -hmm. of death. So yeah, so the promises of Christ, and then for some people, it's just going to have to be them facing it. And now I think there's a difference if you're facing it and you're still covered up in fear. Then let's talk about where that fear is stemming from and try to replace that fear, if you were, with the promises of Christ.